Hi everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video I want to show you how you can beautify uh, and customize your WooCommerce checkout page. So on my uh, shop here I have the normal WooCommerce checkout page and I think it looks a little bit boring and it doesn't build uh, enough trust so um, maybe people are bounced when they are here on my um, checkout page and this is what I want to show you in this video how you can uh, yeah, customize and beautify your WooCommerce checkout page. So let me show you um, how this works. So for this we are going to our WooCommerce or WordPress um, backend and then we are going to um, we are we want to install a new plugin. So go to plugins and add new plugin. And then we are searching for a plugin um, here in the search bar. In the top right corner, we type in uh, card flows. We type in card flows. So, and this is the plugin we want to install. Uh, you can see uh, here this um, with the orange um, logo here, WooCommerce Checkout and Funnel Builder. So we click here on install now. And now we have to wait a little bit until it's installed. Okay, so the plugin has installed. Now we can click on activate. And now we have to wait a little bit. <laughs> okay, now the plugin uh, is activated. Then we go, uh, we search for our plugin. Uh, where is it? Um, I cannot find it right now. Uh, bu -bu 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 ah, there it is. <laughs> Okay, uh, card flows. Okay, perfect. Here is card flows. And then we can uh, click on settings. So, and now um, we can um, see here, we, now we are on the general settings tab. Everything is okay here. And we want to um, customize our checkout. So we go to store checkout. Oh no, uh, that, that was wrong. Now we go on top here to uh, store checkout and then um, we can click on import um, ready template. And here you can see all pre-made store checkout templates. So um, there are a few really beautiful store um, checkout templates. So I really like um, this template store checkout for. Um, but you can see there are a few others. So um, here is a good one or yeah, this is not bad either. So, and these are um, landing pages. We don't need the landing pages, but for this tutorial, we go with the store checkout for, because I like it that um, we have some information, some text here and testimonials. And uh, yeah, so then we click on, um, we we click this template here and now you can see um, we will import the uh, checkout page and also the thank you page so then we click on import flow okay now um, all the templates has been imported now you can see we have two templates here we have the store checkout and the thank you page and right now um, it is not enabled so later on we have to um, switch the button here um, to, uh, to enable the new checkout page so for now we click on edit because we have to edit the page and of course customize the page so then we go to um, edit design And now um, our Elementor page builder is loading because this um, customized checkout page is built with Elementor. And here you can see. So um, we have uh, we can customize our template here or our yeah our template. So you can see there are three steps. Um, the first step is checkout uh, cart. Then um, the uh, second step that we are right now on is information page, and then we have the finish page um, or the thank you page. 
So and here you can see um, these are um, the information that our customer has to fill out. Here are the products that are in the cart. And uh, here is um, our, here are our payment methods. And I think this looks really good. And here we have um, refund policy and um, yeah, the, um, um, the, 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 the footer. Okay, then first we will start at the top. So of course we have to replace the logo and um, let me replace the logo real quick. So it's really simple. It's um, the normal Elementor editor. Just simply click on it and then you can uh, change the image here. Okay, now I uploaded the image, perfect. Then I click on select and now you can see we have our logo here. And um, yeah, what we want to do next is to fill out um, or to customize the information on the right side here. So let me do this real quick. Okay, I'm finished with uh, designing or customizing the um, checkout page. So I think it's really good. I placed the logo, I added um, the text here and um, yeah, the bullet points and the testimonials. I wrote uh, two testimonials and uh, then here the um, trust badge is really good. And I think I like it, yeah, and I um, modified um, the footer here. You can see um, I connected the refund policy, the privacy policy, now it's clickable, and also the um, this text. Yeah, I think it's really good, so perfect. Then we can um, close this. And now we can go to, um, again, to, no, we can go back and now we have to or we can um, click on view so we can open it in a new tab so we can take a look if everything is okay but i think yeah perfect and here everything looks good you can see the product and um yeah the the payment method is working great okay let's close this so now we have to customize the thank you page so after they made um, after the customers made the purchase they will automatically get redirected to this thank you page and uh, this is what we want to customize now so we click on edit and then we can click on um, edit design and now again, the page builder is loading. In my case, it's Elementor. So if you are using another page builder, then of course um, this page builder will be used. So um, yeah, the same goes here. So um, you can fully customize this. You can see um, you have to replace the logo again. And um, here you can um, yeah make your social media account or connect your social media accounts. And then the footer again, and here you have uh, uh, here you can fully customize the thank you page. So uh, yeah, let me do this real quick and I will be back when um, I am finished customizing this page. So I um, designed this, this site or uh, not really designed. I only put the logo here and uh, make the link to the homepage. And then I wrote this little text here and also I uh, linked the um, um, the legal pages here, refund policy, privacy in terms of conditions or terms of service. And then I made um, this footer text here. Yeah, and that's it. So I um, pressed, I pressed on publish and now we can close this and now we can go back here and go back here. So, okay. And now we can, um, yeah, we can activate this. So um, everything is good. And um, when we activate it, then we will um, then we will replace the normal WooCommerce checkout page with our new funnel page. So this is really good. So let's click on Able uh, Store Checkout. Okay, now you can see um, this is our new store checkout page and this is our thank you page. And in card flows, you have a lot of other settings or um, yeah, you can um, let's uh, check this out real quick. Let's click here on settings. Um, you can <coughs> 
Here is um, yeah the settings for the store um, checkout. You can customize the permalink. So um, right now, of course, you want to use the default permalinks because we set it up already. And then you can include a Facebook pixel, the Google Analytics you can include, um, autocomplete, um, user role management and other settings. And yeah, and of course you can uh, make more flows, you can make more sales funnels in card flows. Um, yeah, you can check it out. Card flows is a really good uh, plugin, a really good service. So um, and here you have um, an overview of your total revenue and um, the store sales and all the good stuff. So let me go back here. Let me go um, to the home page and then I will show you the new checkout page on the store how it looks. So this is the store. And now um, let's click here on our on our card. And then yeah, this I have currently in my card and then we can click on checkout. And now we should be redirected to our new checkout page. Yeah, you can see everything is working. Everything looks good. So and I think this um, new checkout page, this customized checkout page look uh, more trustworthy and build more trust with the customer because yeah, it's a little bit, um, a little bit more information and we build trust with uh, these bullet points and with the testimonials. And of course you can customize it even more and um, because yeah, it's a normal WordPress, uh, normal Elementor page builder. And yeah, I think it's really good. And if we fill out all our information and put in our credit card and then we click on uh, place the order, then our order is normally placed. And then we will, of course, get redirected to our new thank you page. Yeah, and um, that's it for the video. I think this plugin card flows is really good. So make sure to check it out. It's uh, really easy to sim to really easy to install and really easy to customize. And all the settings are really easy so um, yeah that's it for the video so if you have any questions about um, the plugin and how it works and all the good stuff so then uh, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to answer all your questions as soon as I can and yeah so, um, if you learned something new in this video today then make sure to give this give this video a thumbs up and also I would appreciate if you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will publish uh, more and more helpful videos about WordPress WooCommerce web design and all the good stuff stuff. So thank you very much for your time and thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.